Today I'll show you how to customize Lambda functions and write API gateway with both methods. So let's start. So in the AWS management console, we go to Lambda function. In this Lambda function, we create a new function. We select author from scratch and give it a name. Let's say my unit post and then create function. So this function will process the post methods. We'll wait for a while to you know until the function is successfully created. There we go. Now let's do some customizations. We will add not only the event but also the context and the callback functions. We use the callback function to respond the value. Okay. So what we do now is we we'll say a callback, and in that callback, let's say we put a no no here for the errors, and uh, we we'll respond a, a JSON file, and in this JSON file, it will be let's say we restore we we'll respond the status code. You know, this is a must, otherwise you know a lambda function cannot work, and then we we'll respond the body. And in body, we basically just get the uh, events, which is the request body. Okay, we'll save this. Okay, <clears throat> now we will try to add a trigger, and in a trigger, we we'll select API gateway. We we'll create a new API, and the security will open so everyone can access. There we go. So this is API gateway, this is the API endpoints, and this is uh, the method is the any methods. So we can click here and test, and because we only defined for the post method, so it will not run correctly. So now we go to AWS and API gateway. We'll do the customization for API Gateway by adding a post method. So this is created by AWS Lambda, and we'll add uh, the post method for this API. There we go. We'll add a new methods. Let's say uh, create method post. Okay, and then click this. They will generate this uh, for us. And we we'll link to my unit post. We we'll link to lambda function, my unit post, and then click save. They telling, they asking if we want to give the permission to the lambda function. We say yes. And there we go. Okay, done. So now we can try to copy this endpoint and use Postman to run it. So we press this in here. And then we select a method post in the header content type JSON accept JSON. In the body, we we'll try to let's say we post an object with name and then ID, let's say S123, and then we click send. We we'll try to call the API with post method, and this is what is response. Okay, 